Such a new place. How are you loving it? All right. Oh my God. So we are in the historic center of Grand Circle of Corona, California. Uh, here's the surroundings. The next door neighbor. Great. This is 1101 South Ramona Avenue in Corona. Uh, 1908 Craftsman. Has a ton of the original stuff, but it also has a bunch of stuff that was updated in 1986. Windows, there is some damage there. That is the original lead windows, stained glass. Same thing on this side. House has a newer roof, updated air conditioning, uh, central heating and air. Plumbing and electrical were all updated as well. So when you walk in, there's a little tile entry and very soiled carpet. Underneath the carpet is the original wood flooring. They're not sure the condition. Okay. This is a four bedroom, two and a half bath, 2,600 square foot house. Original. Has lots of really cool cut out, uh, little cutouts and little features and stuff. Closets, lots of built-ins. All right, so here, is bathroom number one. Those floors are not original. Coming back up. This is not real stained glass on this one. It is actually a uh, film. So this is the laundry room. Pretty big space. The windows are also original. They are single panes. So all the pantries and the cabinets throughout here have cool little pull-outs. Most of them are in good condition. Some of them stick. Longer basin. Okay, so I'm going to take you back out this way. The house has been vacant for a year. And uh, so when the last people moved out, the owners actually didn't remove the rest of their stuff. So built-in cabinet. Fireplace is original. There's actually two of them in the house. Um, that is brick. It's been painted white. So this is an add-on. The house was originally a duplex that was added onto um, back in 1986 and converted into a single family. This is the area they use for their dining. This way. This was like a little breakfast nook. It is a step down. Can you see that? Step down. And then here's the kitchen. So, big overhead vent. We've got the vinyl flooring, circa 1986. Cabinets. They've got some cool stuff here. Okay. Appliances. Ignore all the stuff. They're going to one day remove it all. Tile counters. There was a cabinet here, but they removed it to open up the space, so you get a little bit more of an open floor plan. Okay. <clears throat> Pantry. Okay. And then there's the second fireplace. I'll take you outside real quick. So the yard's great. You got brick stepway here, built in barbecue, fire pit. The trees in this place are amazing. They're huge. There's giant palms out front. So, the only damage I've seen to the exterior of the house is those two front windows. Everything else is in good condition. These smell really, really good. Okay, there's a little. Okay. So coming back, it's almost a, it's a little over 10,000 square foot lot. Again, historic. Grand uh, circle. So this is a, wor a workshop. They've got it locked up right now. Let's see if I can get you through the windows. Everything's really dirty for the record. I don't know if you can see in there. No, can't see. <clears throat> Humongous tree. So this is where they've just been kind of 
storing wood. It's been there for years. You got RV access. So the wood shop is attached to the two car garage. There's also storage sheds out here. Here's the door into the actual two car garage. There's actually more parking over here as well. Okay, electric gate that opens. Little pathway. This spa does not work, has not worked in a very long time. Little deck. AC units, furnace is in the attic. Huge avocado tree. Right behind it is a lemon tree. Okay, there's that. Okay, right, let's go in and I'll take you upstairs. So this house has a ton of very cool features and a lot of potential, but it needs a lot of work. Coming in. Here's a view of the back. Okay. So underneath the carpet is the original wood flooring. They have no idea the condition that it's in. So coming on up stairs. All right, so here, little Jack and Jill closets, built-ins. Bedroom. Kind of dark in here. I hope you can see it. goes back out to the hallway. Okay, so this is just a closet. And then here is the master. Small, but keep in mind in 1908, they didn't really uh, need huge bathrooms and bedrooms. So built in, get ready for this bathroom. It's blue. So here's the tub. Oh, there is a damage. There's a crack in that skylight. Right. And here's the bathroom. shower and a huge closet that's your attic access so here's a look at kind of the whole thing these do have pull out all kind of nice cabinets here stuff so, gives you a pretty good idea of what this place looks like. Bye.